Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to my tutorial on the basics of jQuery and Ajax. But believe me, by the time you're done, you're going to know everything about jQuery and Ajax and be a complete expert. So what exactly is Ajax? There's a lot of confusion that surrounds asynchronous JavaScript and XML. First off, Ajax is not a programming language. Ajax provides you with the ability to communicate with your server, pass information back and forth from the client's browser to the server, update your web page's content without reloading the web page. That's where the asynchronous part comes in. And for the most part, you should have no problem using Ajax techniques if you understand JavaScript. That is what Ajax is. It's just a series of techniques used to talk to the server and do multiple other different things within the browser without having to reload the web page. So how do people use Ajax? They write JavaScript code that is triggered to perform some action when a certain event occurs on the website. When that event is triggered, JavaScript is used to get data from the server using an object called XML HTTP request. I'll go more into this object in the future. The new information is inserted into your web page without a page reload. This is called asynchronous data retrieval. The only negative is that you can only pass XML or regular text between the JavaScript code and the server. In addition, you can use JavaScript code to call PHP code to receive information from a database, and I will cover that as well. On-the-fly CSS changes through JavaScript code is also referred to as an Ajax technique. In the future tutorials, I'm going to teach you Ajax at the same time as I teach you about jQuery because they work very well together. So what exactly is jQuery? jQuery is a JavaScript framework or JavaScript library. It provides you with ready-made functions that you can use to perform common tasks in JavaScript. If you don't come from a programming background, what this means is that you can reference the jQuery code and then use all the functions it provides as if you wrote them yourself. So why do people like jQuery? It allows you to easily perform complicated JavaScript tasks. It is cross-browser. This means that the jQuery functions will automatically handle differences between the many browsers out there. It allows you to easily modify individual nodes on a web page. And if you don't know what I'm talking about with nodes, you need to see my JavaScript scripting tutorial. And it also allows you to easily modify web page content through the use of Ajax techniques without reloading the page. And also, jQuery plus Ajax techniques provide you with the ability to easily communicate with the server without page reloads. jQuery comes packed with great animation effects you can use on your web page. These effects work the same also on all browsers. jQuery is extensible, being that you can add more pre-built functions with plugins. jQuery is small and doesn't noticeably increase page load time. And the jQuery library is completely free and available at jQuery.com. So how exactly do you access those functions in the library? All you do is download the library from the website I mentioned before and store it in a public location on your web server. You then can link to the library with the following line of code, which will be in your HTML page. The source attribute must contain the location of the jQuery.js file. And this script tag needs to be located before any of your other JavaScript code. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to select and edit elements in your web page using jQuery and Ajax functions. Before I leave you, I'm going to show you exactly what we're going to cover in the next tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this page and talk about all the code that is behind it. Let's say I want to turn this bold. Click a button. As you can tell, the screen did not reload. I can count the number of paragraphs. I can delete this whole entire div. I can bring it back. I can change the text right here. I can make all of these individual paragraphs the same. I can change the style in this paragraph right here. I can mess around with the last and make it italic. I can make the fourth paragraph blue. I can slide this guy up over top of the fourth paragraph. And I can add as many paragraphs as I want. Next time we meet, I'll show you how I made it. Till next time.